One of the things I hear from a lot of people is that they're adding all of these tools. I mean, it's not uncommon for companies to pay $700, $800, $1,000 or more per month per seat that they have of salespeople in you know the tools that they're using. And yet, oftentimes, sales professionals aren't utilizing but like 20% of what the tools can actually do. So how do we get the salespeople to understand how to use the tools? Yeah, totally. Adoption is, is crucial. I would say one of the things that we've done, and I inherited this, so I can't take credit for it, but it's been really good for us, is we have what we call champ roles internally at Zoom. And so we probably have maybe a dozen tools that BDRs use, and we have a champ, quote unquote, champ role for that. So it's a BDR who owns, for instance, sales, you know, sales navigator, LinkedIn sales navigator. So that person is kind of the expert for that tool. They might do a monthly or a quarterly 30 minute enablement conversation around that and own kind of the playbook component of that. And that seemed to work out really well to drive adoption. So we had kind of a push a few months ago to do more videos, right? So we're a video first communication platform. We want to get in front of our prospects with their own platform and do that through video. So we worked with one mob who we use for video to kind of revamp that tool because especially with hiring so many people, we've promoted a ton of the BDRs in the past 12 months. So when we did that initial training, whatever it was nine months ago, 50% or more of the team is gone anyway. So we have to continually make sure that we're updating and kind of redoing those enablement sessions for those tools so that there is adoption. 